Welcome back to the 1-6 tutorial on painting an Obi-Wan Kenobi head sculpt. This is the final video in the series and we will discuss final touches and cleanup to give your paintwork a finished look. For supplies, in this step you will need a medium round tip brush, a fine tipped brush, some gloss and flat clear acryl, as well as the handy dandy magnifying glasses for that detail work. But first, let's take a step back and address the lips. I forgot to include this in an earlier tutorial, so let's get to that now. Lips can be problematic, because if they're too dark, it looks like lipstick, but if they're too light, it looks odd. Finding the balance between the two is critical. To do this, I mix a bit of brown and red to the light skin tone. This should be darker than the pink tones we used in step two. Apply this evenly to the lips and let dry. Once dried, dry brush on the light skin tone over the lips. Once this is completed, you should have a natural look. Afterward, you can use the light skin tone to clean up any overpainting of the darker color. During the final touches, we'll add gloss to the lips to help them stand out. Now back to the final step, and this is all about the finishing touches. It's important to look for any slop from the previous steps, like this little bit of gray on Kenobi's ear, or any places without paint. Common problem areas include the backs of the ears and inside nostrils. Again, check carefully for anything that needs to be fixed up. Sometimes in the smaller recesses, like wrinkles, you can find bits of primer still showing through. This is where the magnifying glasses can come in handy. Once this is done, then apply the gloss clear to the eyes and lips, and then add flat clear to the hair. After all of this is done, we'll have the finished head. And this is it! Here is the finished paint job. We've primed it, laid down the skin tones, painted the eyes and hair, and done the final cleanup. You'll notice the eyes now have a bright shiny look to them, and the lips look wet, but not too shiny. Also, the flat acryl, which isn't completely flat, gives the hair a nice sheen and contrast from the skin tone. Thanks again for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, please post them below, and be on the lookout for the next tutorial coming soon.